Welcome to Electron Line. Here's part three of how to come up with the method of variation of parameters, at least showing you how it's derived. On the previous video, we finally got this far. We were able to come up with the u1 prime equation and the u2 prime equation. And if you take a close look, they look very similar. Both of them have a g of t divided by the round skin of y1 and y2. Except on u1 prime we have y2 in the numerator and on u2 prime we have a y1 in the numerator. And notice that this is negative and this is positive. Now the next step is again what we're trying to do is we're trying to find u1 and u2 so we can write down the particular solution. So what we need to do is we need to integrate both of these equations. Now of course since it's written in the general form we can't actually do the integration. We can just show you what the form looks like. Later on we'll show you an example or a number of examples where we actually go to the integration and how to derive u1 and u2. So to get u1, u1 is going to be the integral of u1 prime. And so that's going to be equal to the integral of minus, and then we can put the minus in front, so let's do that. So we'll put the minus in front, so we have y2 g of t divided by the Ronskin of y1 and y2. And of course, we need a dt. And u2 prime, or u2, is going to be equal to the integral of u2 prime, which is going to be equal to the integral of y1 times g of t divided by the Ronskin of y1 and y2. And again, these integrals are going to be doable once we know what y2 is, and that's going to come out of the homogeneous part of the solution. g of t is simply the equation on the right side the equal sign, and the Ronskin can be found by taking y1 and y2 from the homogeneous equation. Remember that the Ronskin of y1 and y2 is equal to the determinant of y1 and y2 in the first row and y1 prime and y2 prime in the second row, which means it's a product of those two terms, y1 times y2 prime minus the product of those two, which is y2 times y1 prime. So that will then go into each of the two denominators. We then simplify those fractions. We then integrate them if possible. And of course, I can't forget the dt on that side, otherwise we can't integrate. And like I said, we'll show you some examples of that. But that will allow us to find u1 and u2, which of course will be part of our particular solution. Then finally what we can say is that our particular solution, y particular, was going to look like u1 times y1 plus u2 times y2. And so therefore we multiply this times y1, so we get minus y1 times the integral of y2 times g of t dt divided by the Ronskin of y1 and y2 plus and then this u2 is going to be multiplied times y2 so we get y2 times the integral of y1 g of t dt all divided by the Ronskin of y1 and y2 and so this will then allow us to find the particular solution of that non-homogeneous differential equation with non-constant coefficients. And like I said, we're going to show you some examples with constant coefficients first, which are a lot easier, and then show you the methods to use to solve these types of equations with non-constant coefficients. That's coming up in the future on this series.